Oh my gosh, what is up? This is Tales from Raga, and welcome back to Let's Play Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. In the last episode, we completed up the main missions of Sand Ruin and got a D, but we got like a lot of chick coins, so that was pretty cool. And in today's episode, we're going on to Giant Palaces side mission things. I guess they're kind of side missions. Kinda. So, the last time we were in Giant Palace, it was actually during the night time, which means we're in the daytime now. All the rest of Giant Palace's stages are daytime stages, and they are gorgeous. I mean, look at that view. Giant Palace, aesthetically, is like one of my favorite levels because it just looks so good. I heard there are a few emblems of courage hidden throughout Giant Palace by ancient chickens. Wait, okay. You know what, I've never understood, this guy's like the super chicken god guy and stuff, but he heard that there were ancient things? <sighs> I mean, don't get me wrong, I mean, I respect him for what he's doing, he is putting in the most work of anyone. Mr. Voice of Chicken, Voice of Dog. Voice of Dog is the guy that does Let's Play, I think. I don't know, I don't watch him. He probably does though, because he was at uh, the Runaway Guys panel at one of the PAX conventions. I think it was 2013 where he was there. Slow Beef was there too. I know that. Wow, this guy is just... Okay, okay, thought process completely derailed there because, oh my goodness. That guy was just too fast too quick. He knew what he was doing. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't know what he was doing. And that's the reason why he was running around like a goon. Alright, also we got a bird. Birds are very, very partial to uh, fruit and bubbles. Oh, there we are. Cam camera kind of disorients me here, though, in this room. Not like anywhere else in Giant Palace. Well, maybe sometime somewhere else in Giant Palace, but mostly just in that room, because I... Whoa! Okay, good sir. I'll, I'll bite. I'll buy that- I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh yeah, you see this normal egg right here? Don't hatch it, don't hatch it. It actually contains something bad, and it's one of the rare chances- Oh, rare occasions where it does hatch something bad? This thing will actually hatch a bat that will leech your life. And you don't want your life leeched. Is a very painful process. So let's get this chick coin, which was not a very painful. Whoa, okay. Could have been painful process. Process, that is a map in Team Fortress 2. Which I am actually probably going to have to learn. Uh the process is the map I'm thinking of, then. I mean I think I know it. So we killed more enemies, and we haven't been using our bird guy all that much. The last bird guy. Is that like the last Ed guy? One of uh, Zappa's moves from Guilty Gear? I kind of hope that Zappa is in uh, Guilty Gear Xer, for, to be honest, because Zappa was kind of an interesting character, and I think Guilty Gear Xer needs a little bit more in the bazaar, like Bedman. Bedman, he's gonna do something. Pretty swaggin'. I, uh, I, yes, I did just use swaggin' to describe a kid in a robot deathbed. Not, not like a, like a deathbed, like he's dead or anything like that. But like a bed that like kills people. Deathbed. Death water. The movie. That's a reference that I actually didn't think I was going to make. Is this 2007? Because I am making all these dated Proton John references. Wow. Oh man, has it really been that long since the Kaizo LP? Like, I still watch the Kaizo videos from time to time. I remember that there were four LPers in the Kaizo thing. Uh, there was Psychedelic Eyeball, I know that, and there was Proton John. And there was Wooga. Was Oyster? I don't know. I don't remember actually ever seeing a uh, Kaizo video by Oyster. Because there was a uh, channel that for a while had the... Uh, and I don't know, they're still around, but... Had all the uh, videos from the two Kaizo Let's Plays. 
Because one of the things that people don't know is that they did the LP of the second Kaizo Mario as well. And there is a se there's a third one out now, if I remember correctly. I don't know, I need to talk about something to get my mind off of birds. Oh yeah, another chick coin here. I'm gonna grab it. Smash and grab it. Alright, now this room. See these switches? Gotta activate them as fast as possible in order to free these cat dudes. And these cat dudes are gonna break the way open for us. Nah, I'm just kidding. They're gonna try to murder us. Hello, Mr. Oh! I am actually going to send my Birdman. Birdman! All over the place. I love that he explodes in fireworks. Like, he is so America. America is an adjective. He is America, and so can you. Honestly, Glaren, no, his name is now Stephen Colbert. Oh, wait, shit, I already used up all of my Stephen Colbert. I'm going to have to find another animal. Let's take the rabbit, then. I believe the rabbit is the only thing that can actually hatch out of the white egg. Yo, you! I am making you regret some life decisions right there, your friend. Come back down from this cloud. There we go. Alright. Doing some damage. Not gonna get those combo bonuses. Actually, the next level of the game is something that's pretty good for combo bonuses. What are we doing on time? Oh, we got plenty of time. Where am I going? I don't know where I'm going because I'm trying to look at the time. I've been spending, what, eight minutes in this recording session? And five of that was actually in the game, so... Okay, now that mission made it look easy, but... Take a drink, actually. A refreshing brand name product. Oh man, rank C is not as good as I did last time, but whatever, I'll take it. I'll take it! Got some pretty cool, uh... Kill streaks in the last one. I prestiged in the last Billy Hatcher level. Alright, roll down the long slope. This one is not going to be fun. And if it turns out that when we get to said long slope, I remain silent, you guys are going to probably, hopefully, understand. Alright, now for the second mission we're doing. This is gonna suck. This is going to suck amazingly. Oh, man. Uh, I'm not looking forward to this mission. Billy, it appears that one of the emblems of courage is- Oh, so now you know where it is. Now you do? I mean, last time it was just like, Oh, I heard a rumor about, like, there may be a courage emblem somewhere around here. Like, I don't know for sure, but, like, Denise was telling me. And I'm just like, who's Denise? I don't need to know this. What are you talking about, Mr. Chicken Man God? Man? Man? Dude? This corpse rolled far. I like that. It's like ragdolling, but with less, like, weird, glitchy TF2 physics. And more silly cat man. Okay, there we go. Got a nice shoot. Got a nice hatch. Can we get a combo going? Can we get a combo go- Shit. No, I did not get a combo going. It is very easy, or it's kind of easy, to get a good combo going in this clearing, I guess I could say. Is it a clearing? I'm going to call it the clearing. We abused our monkey too much. That's going to tell the FBI on us. I, I am not very enthusiastic about this mission, and Batman, if you could stop Batman, please. Batman, let me run you over with an egg. Who would have thought that Batman does not like delicious breakfasts? He is the Dark Knight, but more importantly, he is the Dark Knight that does not want to go to Denny's. Stop 
asking if that man wants to go to Denny's. He does not want to. Batman, he wanted to follow me down. All of them wanted to follow me down actually. Whoa! <laughs> They're dropping like flies. That's actually what... Whatever, I'm actually gonna ignore you and take a monkey egg. Monkeys don't usually come from eggs either, so... That's... the rarity in the world. Not like the... horse... from My Little Pony. That's a show about horses. Like, every little girl's fantasy, and apparently like every 20-year-old's fantasy too. I want a pretty horse. That's what I want. What I want for Christmas is, uh... Oh, I don't care about, like, getting an Xbox 360. No, all I really care about is pretty candy-colored horses. Give me a monkey. All I care about is killing this dude. It wasn't a combo, but, you know, well, I like combos. Combos. Speaking of which, isn't like TJ Combo in New uh, Killer Instinct? I remember TJ Combo because when I was at Magfest playing Killer Instinct in the arcade for the first time, I picked TJ Combo and ended up regretting it almost instantaneously. So that's fun. Let's set ourselves a nice little water comb, little water hands. Start Nintendo Capri Sun because Tim Bishop. As Nintendo Capri Sun. He has to have all those rolls. He's actually a very pragmatic man. Like how Jesus has four hearts. Well, Time Lords have two hearts. So I'm just going to assume that Jesus had four at one point. Maybe he sold them for charity. I don't know. Either way, there was some Bibu. I love Bibu. He's. He is fun. I have to say I love Bibu because he scares me because look at that. He looks like he's just gonna beat someone up. I wish I could zoom the camera in, but he just really looks eager to deck someone in the face hole. The face off. Deck someone in their Nicholas Cage. Oh hey! Monkey's there. Hi monkey. I'm going to leave you be. You think about your life for a while. You landed on him actually, that would be kinda of funny. Oh, I didn't notice the little, uh, bubble particle effect that occurs whenever you, uh, get food. Also, I fell. As you could probably tell, JUMP CUT! was a jump. That was certainly a jump. That was totally worth spending like two minutes trying to get back to that jump. Oh, certainly. Certainly. Anything for Billy Hatcher. What a great game. I'm glad I LP'd it. No, I, I'm actually very glad that I started this LP because Billy Hatcher is honestly a very fun game. It is just a little bit frustrating sometimes. Speaking of, whoa, that was cool. Like that. Okay, let's snipe these guys with Bibu. Bibu, you want to do that again? That's awesome, Bibu. Let's see it again in slow motion. Except not really in slow motion because if I don't record this at a high enough frame rate to actually record it in slow motion. Oh, good. Good. Glad to see that hatching that egg was worth it. Right, there are actually eggs that have negative effects. I talked about the bat earlier, but this is what the crow does. It makes everything dark. For a while. Cool story, dude. See you again. No! I am not fond of that. In fact, I am very unfond 
That was going so well, too. I mean, I guess I was in, like, deep concentration mode, like, deep hurting. But, ah, uh, Great, I've... I've messed up that one jump and now my morale is low, but... Fuck it, I need a... I need a hero. And more importantly, I need to beat this stage. I don't care how many tries it takes. Apparently just fall into sky water. Why is there even sky water? That... I guess the reason why this is so difficult is because it's using a different control that you're used to. Like, you're used to more or less having control of how you're rolling your egg. And that... That was a very nice run. That was very smooth. Very smooth. I... I... Uh. You know what the worst part about that was, though? You know what the absolute worst part about that was? I'm going to show you a picture of my score and record from the last time I did this. In the practice run. So, yeah. Oh, fuck. Every time, we always have to end with a D. I should have saved my A rank, actually. Oh my not. Nah. Oh my no. Deathmatch, get the cro- Whoa, it said death in a kid's game, wow. Either way, I- I don't want to be recording this for that much longer. This is already a big-ass recording session as is, so... I am going to see you guys later. This is Tales from Rocket signing out. Thank you guys for watching. Really wish I just recorded my practice run instead, but fuck it, whatever.